Welcome to my channel. I'm Yara Jennings and in this DIY video, I'm going to show you how I made this easy and budget friendly DIY faux wood canopy out of PVC pipes. Stay tuned. Alright y'all, so I recently moved into a new apartment and I have been so, so excited to finally decorate the space and make it my own, especially when it comes to my bedroom. So I found these inspiration picks on Pinterest. I am loving these vibes, so that's kind of the direction I'm going in for this one. Now this is what my bedroom's looking like now. Of course, I've got a long way to go. But I'm excited to share the decor journey with you guys. It's going to be a lot of DIYs coming, so stay tuned. Now what we're going to do for this one is something along these lines. A bit more compact because I did not want to crowd this space, but it'll still be beautiful. First things first, I headed on over to the Home Depot to pick up my supplies. Of course, this is going to be another budget-friendly project, which is my favorite part about it. So let's head home and get started. I am using four three-quarter inch PVC pipes that are 76 inches long, two pipes that are 64 inches long, two pipe pieces that are 12 inches long, four three-way PVC pipe elbows, wood grain contact paper, scissors, a white window scarf that I got for five or six bucks on Amazon, and faux vines that I got from the 99 cent store guys in total this project only cost me like $35 that's it I just love DIY for links and more information on these items just check out that description box all right it's time to get started first I am rolling out the contact paper and cutting it to the length of the PVC pipe making sure to leave enough blank space on the pipe at the top so the elbow can fit on then I am just cutting the contact paper along the bottom and then cutting vertical strips that will be able to wrap around each pipe. Now guys, this is where things just started to get a little tricky for me. <laughs> for some reason, I thought that the contact paper was going to be too flimsy to work with if I took the backing off. So I had the bright idea to use double-sided tape and apply the contact paper that way. Little did I know this was going to take up so much of my time. Plus, I realized that I had cut strips of the wrong lengths. So, yeah. Things don't always go according to plan with these projects, but that's okay. At this point, I decided to actually give the contact paper a chance, peeled off the backing, lined up the bottom of the pipe with the edge of the contact paper, and just rolled it right on over. And you know what? Wow. I should have done this in the first place. That was way easier. Once I finally figured out the winning strategy, I just breathed on through the rest of the pipes in a matter of a few minutes. And here's a close up so you can see the full process. Just peeling off the backing of the contact paper, lining the pipe up with the edge, and rolling it right on over. Now guys, I gotta admit I was skeptical at first, but I am seriously blown away by how this faux wood looks. Plus, these pipes were a fraction of the cost of real wood poles, so another win. And now it's finally time to assemble this bad boy. For some reason, I thought it would be easier to assemble it in my living room and then carry it into my bedroom. I do not remember why I made this decision. I do recommend just assembling this thing in the bedroom where it's going to be. Now, I actually really liked how the white elbows looked on the faux wood poles, so I left them white, but comment below, let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I should have spray painted them a different color or if you like the white. And now that this thing is put together, it's time to move it into the bedroom and in its place. All right, a perfect fit. The next step is to make sure this thing is nice and stable, so we're going to secure it to the wall using these nice little round wall stickers. And I'm just placing one at the back of each elbow and then pressing it against the wall. Now, as you can see, a little bit of the pipes are showing at the top, so 
Easy fix, just flip them around so that that writing is towards the wall. And all of that is gonna be covered with the fabric anyway. So no big deal, no big deal. And there you have it. The base of the canopy is complete and in place. What do you think so far, Banks? You like it? <laughs> and last but not least, it's time to add the finishing touches. So I'm just draping this window scarf right over the top. I am just so pleased with how this is looking so far. And finally, I am adding these fake vines that I got from the good old 99 cent store. There's definitely no right or wrong way to do this. I used four vines in total, so that was only four bucks, and kind of just wrapped them around the pole, draped them over the side of the window scarf, whatever I thought looked good. Now, the very, very, very last thing I did was make these little straps out of fabric and then used push pins to attach the poles to the wall just for added stability. And we are done. The canopy is looking good. I am beyond excited about this project. Let's take a good look. <laughs> want to see me DIY next and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, no.